<laughs> Hi, um, this is my second take on this because the first take I uh, had a look at the video that I made and just behind me here was uh, 24 rolls of toilet paper throughout the whole video so I thought I'd just let you know that this is a take two and um, hopefully there's no more toilet rolls in the background. Alright, so these are my tips for helping you get through your uh, New Year's resolutions about health and fitness for 2017. So the first tip I have is to, after you finish with Christmas and New Year, is to go and clean out your cupboards and get rid of all the foods that you know you love and you know that are no good for you. And I don't have to tell you what those are, they're usually, you know, the Tim Tams, my favourite. Uh, the biscuits and the ice cream and the chips. So clean out your cupboards and make sure that you, there's nothing there that can tempt you whilst you're sitting watching telly. Alright, so my next tip is, oh I've forgotten, oh that's right, stop eating the shit. Alright, so even though you may clean out your cupboards when you go shopping, don't buy any more of it and the, the less temptation there is around you at home, the more likely you're going to stick to your plan and your goals and then the less likely you'll have all those guilty feelings about oh I indulged in you know a packet of Tim Tams, oh no that's me not you, oh I indulged in some ice cream. So make sure that um, you stop eating this shitty food no matter where you are. Try and select really good healthy foods and you know what they are. So. <clears throat> That's the, the second tip. All right, my third tip is set a goal. Now, this is really important because if you set a goal, then you automatically work towards that. So if you have a goal of losing two dress sizes, perhaps you've got a dress in your cupboard that you would like to fit into and have that hanging up somewhere where you can see that every day. Now, make sure these goals that you're setting are doable. You don't want to say to yourself, oh, I'm going to lose 20 kilos. No, no, we're going to lose two kilograms this month, all right? Set your long-term goal and your short-term goal. So two kilograms this month is absolutely doable. Then you can feel good about yourself at the end of that month. Okay, so setting a goal is extremely important and writing that goal down and telling people about that goal is very important too because then it makes you really, really accountable. <clears throat> My tip number four is do some kind of exercise. It doesn't matter what it is, anything. Go for a bike ride, go for a walk, go for a swim, join a group training, join, get a PT. Whatever you want to do, make sure that you're doing some form of exercise because exercise improves your metabolism so you start burning more calories even when you're not doing any exercise. So important, do something. Doesn't matter what it is, make sure that it, whatever you're doing, it's you increase your heart rate so that it's difficult to talk. All right. Next tip is put some strength training into your exercise plan. This is very important because strength training uh, increases your muscle mass. It, it improves your bone density, it releases testosterone into the bloodstream, so it makes you feel young, it makes you look younger, and it helps with your ability to feel good about life in general. So put some strength training in, tone up the body, and it also, when you've got muscle in your body, your metabolism is much, much higher. So that's the next tip. Make sure you do some strength training. All right. Next tip is get some support. This is really, really, really important that the people who are around you know what you're doing and they support you. Now, if you can't find anybody within your immediate family to support you, go out and find somebody who will. Uh, there are plenty of PTs out there that are incredibly supportive. There's plenty of group training out there with women who are your same age and they are a lot of support. My group training is a lot of fun and a lot of support. Find a friend that wants to do the same thing and make sure you both support each other because there's going to be times when it's going to be difficult and you don't want to do it or you don't want to go training. So make sure you've got some somebody that is supportive that's going to motivate and help and push you towards your goals. 
All right. The next one is eat more fats. Believe it or not, I mean, there's a lot of arguments about eating fats, but the truth is eating fats is good for you and good for losing body fat. So it's not the fats that make you fat. Remember this, it's the sugars that make you fat. So sugars increase insulin. Insulin comes in to try and decrease the sugars. And after a while, that stops happening and the sugar turns to body fat. We uh, become what is known as insulin resistant. So with the fats, however, that is used as energy. And you will find if you put more fats like almonds, avocados, um, yogurt, milk, um, and even cream and butter into your diet, you will notice that you will have more energy because the body is really designed to use fats as a source of energy and not sugars. That's why we're gaining so much weight. All right, put more fats into your diet. That's a really, really important one. Ah. Throw out the scales, please ladies, throw out those damn scales. They are a waste of time and they zap your energy and your motivation. Get rid of them. Before you even start to set out your goals and what you're doing, get rid of that bloody scale. Because I'm telling you now, if you're exercising and you're doing some strength training, those scales may not say anything different for a while, but your clothes will. You'll feel that you've got more of a waistline. You'll feel that your pants are looser because your body shape is changing, but the weight, the scales are not saying anything. Muscle mass is four times heavier than body fat. So the next time you go to get on those scales, chuck them in the bin. They are no good to you. You don't need them. You can see in a mirror and you can see by your clothes whether you're changing. Get rid of it. Okay. Next tip is if you do go and have some Tim Tams or you have that piece of cake or you have the glass of wine or you have that glass of beer, don't beat yourself up over it. It's okay. It's okay to have the occasional little treat. All right. So I'm not saying go and eat, you know, a huge slice of cake or, you know, five glasses of wine or <laughs> something ridiculous like that. I'm saying a little treat is okay while you're trying to get to where you want to go. Then if you do have that little treat, don't beat yourself up. Just savour it, enjoy it. And then if you enjoy it, you're less likely to crave it because it was so nice, all right? Just enjoy it, don't beat yourself up. And my final tip for getting your health and fitness goals done in 2017 is do it. Get up and do it. Nobody else is gonna do it for you, you know? You can't sit on the lounge, watch TV every day and hope to goodness that you're going to feel better and look better and fit into that dress you haven't fit into for 10 years. Get up off the lounge and go and do it. Just as Nike says, just do it. You have to take action. You have to pick yourself up and go and do it. Go to a gym, go to a group, go to it for a walk, go for a swim, go for a bike, anything. Just get up and do it. All right. Well, I hope that all your health and fitness goals come true in 2017 and that life is really great for you in 2017. And hopefully, if with a bit of luck, I might even see you. But in the meantime, there is a free PDF file that you can download that gives you all these 10 tips and hints. So enjoy Christmas and enjoy 2017. Bye.